This week, the world has been focused on the military victory in Afghanistan by the Taliban. In Somalia, attention has been directed to the army's conflict with the Al-Shabaab in Galmadug. But the spotlight has shifted to Puntland, where ISIS fighters have taken over a town in Bari. Balid Hidin fell to the militants on Wednesday after fierce fighting. See this. ISIS reportedly entered the city at 8 p.m., ransacking government offices before securing the city. The militants killed a district commissioner once they had control. A civilian was also injured. Al-Shabaab has not been very active in Puntland, but many have seen ISIS expand their influence there. While both groups are considered Islamic fundamentalists, ISIS and Al-Shabaab are fierce rivals. Al-Shabaab's patrons are Al-Qaeda, who have clashed with ISIS in other countries. A recent analysis published by the U.S.-based Woodrow Wilson Research Center highlighted the organization's differences. ISIS's primary goal has been to capture and govern territory. Al-Qaeda's goal is to convert people to gradually build a global caliphate, but controlling territory has not been a priority in its short-term strategy. They disagree over religious issues, when to consider a Muslim an apostate or takfir, and how to punish or whether to excommunicate them. Al-Qaeda has been focused on creating a global caliphate, ISIS has been trying to establish local caliphates, one by one, with some previous success in Iraq and Syria. What does this mean for Somalia? Because the two groups don't mix, it means the government won't have to fight a unified force. Their independence means, however, that if one is controlled, the other may pop up in its place. For now, it appears bad news for the federal government that ISIS has been strong enough to take Balid Hidin. And even worse news for Puntland, which has been among the most peaceful areas in the country. ADN-TV will continue to report on political and security developments in Somalia.